Kenyans digest what will become of the Deputy Chief Justice, Philomena Mwilu, who was charged with abuse of office and failure to pay taxes. She was handled politely but firmly in an arrest that took the nation by storm. But unlike most high-profile corruption suspects we have seen in recent weeks, she will not spend the night in police cells. Her boss, Chief Justice David Maraga, is expected to speak tomorrow as her case or the case against her begins. Stephen Leto begins on Newscast with those details. She was processed in record time, 70 minutes at the DCI headquarters. And shortly after leaving the detective's premise, DCJ Philomena Mwilu was taken to the anti-corruption court Presented by 16 lawyers led by CIA Senator James Orengo. She appeared before Judge Lawrence Mugambi with her lawyers pleading for her temporary reprieve to save her from spending a night behind bars. Mwilu's lawyer submitting that it was past the gazetted court sitting time. Mwilu is on the DPP's radar following the collapse of the Imperial Bank Limited. The Deputy Chief Justice in a charge sheet prepared at the Mudaiga police station this afternoon accused of influencing a payment of 12 million shillings to her account when she served as the court of appeal judge the transactions allegedly happened between march and october 2013 mwilu according to the investigators will be facing forgery charges with claims that she forged kenya revenue authority stamp duty declaration assessment and payment slip to evade a tax amount of 3.142 million shillings mwilu is also accused of failing to pay 58,000 shillings for krs stamp in the purchase of land in nairobi court orders are pending any further proceedings that will continue tomorrow. Each accused shall be released on executing a personal board of Kenya shillings 5 million. They are further ordered to appear before this court tomorrow without fail at 9 a.m. These terms are temporary. <laughs> Although the prosecutors objected to a bond as requested by Mwilu's legal team, Judge Lawrence Mugambi ruled that she be given a personal bond as an undertaking that she will appear in court tomorrow. And so Wednesday, lawyers will be locking horns in a legal combat inside the anti-corruption court as Deputy Chief Justice Philomena Mwilu fights to clear her name. Stephen Leto reporting for Citizen Television, Milimani Locots in Nairobi.